Y'all ready for this? back here with the episode of Box Score, James Kirkland versus Alan Connors. If you didn't see it last night on Showtime, it was a crazy one round fight. Now I know you saw it, you saw it yes, earlier in the fight, right? Yes. Now, early on, Alan had him hurt. He he dropped he dropped Kirkland early on, but it was some back and forth action, and then uh he hit him with a what did he hit him with that left hook, knocked that him left straight hook, back into the ropes. Hook. And his legs was like the I fight should have been stopped right there. As soon as he got up, it was like he was walking it out or something. I like, can't even do it. <laughs> he was doing something like that. He was fighting like this. He was fighting like this while his legs was all over balance. He was fighting like, yeah. bam! No, we got some people that just came in the barbershop. Guard your grill boxing, man. This is what we do. We bring it to the public. We keep it raw and uncut. What's going on, dog? You on guard your girl right. box? I hope you don't mind being on camera. We'll chop it if right. you don't want to be on. No, you know what I mean? What's man, your you name, fam? Wayne. Wow. What's your name? Right. My name's Celine. All right, Celine. Listen, man. You know yeah, the, the undefeated good. thing going down next week. No we got doubt. my man we Floyd, here, the pretty here, boy. We here fresh in the cut. You know what I'm saying? In Philly. That's right. I'm saying fresh in the cut in Philly. That's how we doing in Philly. That's right. You, you know see. what I'm saying? We real. We stand up. Stand up, guys, right here in Philly. You see right here, Shimley Shark. You know what I'm saying? My old head, Kenny Mills. You know what I'm saying? He got respect for his elders. Kenny Mills. For the you know what I'm saying? So who you like next week, you know what I'm saying? Who you like next who week? Who I like next week? Who will fight? I don't even watch fights. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You keep it. I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster, baby. I want to ask y'all this because we've been talking about uh, the, the a lot of the things that we've been discussing is Floyd's attitude, and and that's probably the reason why a lot of people want to see Floyd lose, and you know they they see Floyd being portrayed on 24/7 as as the ult the ultimate villain. You know he's this. Is a the dude you love to hate. Yeah, but like in reality, Floyd is a nice, like we was talking about before, Floyd is a nice dude, he's a humble dude, he's respectful, but he's turning on this villain persona for like, for 20 years. You know, you know what I heard? I heard he had a conversation, he was on a, he was on a plane with Sugar Ray Leonard, Oscar De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya actually said this, they was trying to groom him, tell him to smile some more, and he said he just got fed up with trying so hard to, to fit into this box that he decided to go the other route. And in every type of cinematic, Big movie, there's always a clear cut villain, there's always a clear cut hero. That's why the 24 7 with Shane and Kodo was a disaster. That was boring. But I think, let me say something about Mayweather. Even I think the fight was good. But Mayweather to me. But they didn't sell any tickets because you know when you're selling something, you gotta pay that money. Just like the best fights of the just, year. Just yeah. like, darn, my, shout out to my man Carlos who been who been uh, 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 having a verbal drive by on, on me and sleep on our YouTube Carlos, YouTube comments. Shout what's out, the Brooklyn, what's the ain't, ain't no hate here. My uh, uh, Green Carlos, King 187. Shout out to Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Carlos, from Brooklyn Carlos here. Carlos, the other bull came out. Carlos, I don't know where he claimed me from the UK. He talks real tough on the He, he talks real tough. Super high you know, he cyber, super he's cyber high thugging high. and all that. We ain't, we ain't mad at you. But look, the bottom line is this, man. Like I was telling these dudes, he talking about uh, Kalazaki called Bernard Hopkins, Mary Popkins, and all that. It's all antique in boxing. You got to do that to sell the fight. But where I disagree with Floyd at, you see they're selling the fight talking about their fighters. They're not talking about how much people make. This is not rapping where you come at another dude's salary and talk about how much your car costs and all that. When you sell a fight, you look at the history of boxing. Hey. Boxing exposed to other boxers. And it all comes down, what if Floyd said, if it makes dollars, it makes sense. You know that fight already has uh, oh, projected 1.5 million buyers. Hey, look, man. It's working. No, no, I'm not saying it ain't working. I'm just saying that the uh, the, the general public, you got the dude who working at uh, the local drugstore just so he can have some extra cash on the weekend and spend $50 to watch this fight. I think sometimes Floyd spit in the public face by uh, making a mockery out of him, uh, bragging about his cars and his chains and Yo, all that. Let's let's get Ken's perspective. He had went to the Oscar De La Hoya uh, Floyd fight and... Uh, you know, he, he had mad guap. He spent he spent mad yeah, chicken yeah, on that. Yeah. Ken, yes, tell him what happened. Tell him how disappointed you were. Uh, very disappointed. Very disappointed. Show him the tickets uh, <laughs> Show him the tickets no, I, I, I don't have the tickets there. I might have a bet here, though. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Yeah, I got the bet here. You know what I mean? Is, this is all scripted. This is this all scripted. scripted. We keep it MGM real Grand, De La Hoya Mayweather. Now why were you why were you disappointed? Hey, ticket cost a uh, grand? Because Look, this is a ticket cost a grand. Uh, you know, this is the biggest fight of the century and uh we didn't get our money's worth, you know, cuz uh we had one guy, you know, bringing the fight, other guy running, you know. And who would that be? The runner. <laughs> the runner was uh Floyd uh Mayweather. <laughs> and you know who the other fighter was. Is that kind of track kinda, star? Track star. Yeah, track star. What? Track star Floyd. <laughs> I call Floyd it, They call it running, I call it just sweet science. 
You talking about yeah, Floyd Joyce? That's what I like. That's what I call. They said the same hey, thing about hey, Leonard. Excuse me, excuse Hagler. me. Where's, where's, where's what boxing going? What did Leonard do against Hagler? Where's What's boxing going? What you guys say about days? Floyd Joyce and Clear? When we call oh, grabbing, punching, clinching. Come on, stop that. Running. Science and boxing. Oh, we're, protect yourself at all times. We're, it's protecting yourself. We're, we're if you, if, if you listen, if I'm fighting this guy right here, Big Mike, who will probably beat me, but if we're in a ring where there's a judge and what would have you first, what you six five, Mike? Six five. I'm five seven. You see, he's physically stronger than me, so I'm going back paddle. I'm going to slip. I'm a faint. I'm gonna give him different angles, and I'm gonna basically try to what make him look silly. Power anyway. And I ain't got no power on top of that. So I gotta make him look silly. Now the, uh, the general public might not like it, but the bottom line they is, it, see you get your head knocked they won't get you get, see you get your head knocked. Out, but there's still a survival game out there, and you see the, the uh, and repercussions. That's the case, what are you doing in the ring? If you can't fight, you shouldn't be boxing. You like knockout. Like you like this. knockout artists. <laughs> that's that right. already, I like knockout. That's already artists. on record. Ring. that he right. like Kermit Simpson. I like people who like to fight and mix it up. Just like last Julian night. Jackson. Last night on Julian Showtime, Jackson. a couple of bums were going at it, but it was an exciting fight it was good it was two knockdowns in the first round guy came out swinging got knocked down he got up knocked the other guy out i like fights like that so you ain't like you was no fan of sweepy whitaker then big My, mike no i, I actually you like sweepy but well, sweepy like did put people on he knocked buddy, like put buddy mcgirt on his pocket thanks for tuning in guard your girl boxing my space force slash guard your girl boxing you go on the youtube and type in guard your girl boxing you can always reach us at guard your girl box at gmail.com this is how we do in the heart of philadelphia we're going to touch the people we're going to get people's opinions coming live from extremely Sharp. Right Check here. my peoples out. Get your for the get best cut in the alone. game. Get your head cut up right. Hey Doc, real quick. Let me let something, go. Let me let something be known real quick. Remember I told y'all we was number one. I lied. We won two, three, four, and five. Guard your girl boxing. Get your weight up. Haters.